Hello guys, uh, welcome to Malik Jo 34 channel. This is Malik Arjun. Okay, uh, this is again a continuation of my uh, grid infrastructure installation and configuration and then rack database uh, installation and configuration. This is a continuation of uh, uh, series where uh, we are going to see today configuration of Oracle ASM disks and then you know, uh, doing some pre-checks for my rack setup. And then we will proceed with the grid infrastructure installation. This point number 7, 8, 9, we are going to cover all these three now. So in our previous videos, we saw virtual box setup, OEL installation and creating users and directories. And we have seen DNS name, uh, resolution configuration. And also we have seen cloning of my uh, OEL uh, VM machine and then creating a shared disk between two nodes and then uh, formatting uh, those disks using the fdisk linux utility so now we will create uh, asm disks on top of those formatted disks okay now let's start with uh, creating oracle asm disks uh, i have server a and i have server b so you can create in any one of the server and automatically it will be reflected in the other server because these are the shared disks so if you see here dev under uh, i have SDB1, C1, D1, E1, F1, G1. Yesterday we have formatted all these six disks, right? So, uh, first thing is you need to configure your Oracle ASM utility. So, we'll just type Oracle ASM configure I. Let me copy that one. Okay, so you have to give your uh, uh, default owner. My grid owner is grid. I'm giving grid and the uh, primary group is o install i'll give o install and start oracle asm library drivers on boot yes and then scan oracle asm disk on boot yes that is done and similarly i'll do it on node 2 and grid is my grid owner and o install is the primary group scan start and scan okay done so now next command is oracle asm configure that will tell you whether uh, what are your configuration settings whatever you did so far like oracle asm configure it will tell you uh, oracle asm is enabled true uh, user is grid and group is o install and you know scan boot on boot scan true so all these properties whatever you set so similarly you can uh, uh, check it for the other node okay here also it has been set okay now uh, you know you have to uh, load your drivers that is oracle asm init that will load your drivers so on node one i'm going to load it if you can see here oracle asm init creating dev oracle asm mount point dev oracle asm loading model oracle asm and configuring oracle asm to use your physical block size and mounting ASM live driver file system dev oracle ASM. You have to get this output. Then only it concludes your uh, oracle ASM uh, you know, mount point has been created and model has been uh, got created. So similarly, you do it on the other node. Right, so other node, node 2 also is fine. So next, you have to create your oracle uh, grid disks on top of your um, uh, uh, formatted disk so if i do ll sd star as i said i am going to use b1 c1 d1 e1 f1 and g1 so command is oracle asm create create disk you have to give uh, you know name of the uh, disk like uh, you know i'm giving data one uh, i'm creating a data one grid disk uh, on my sdb1 so sdb1 is going to be full path dev sdb1 you can see here writing disk header done installing disk done so similarly i will create data 2 on my sdc1 and similarly i will do data 3 on my sdd1 now i will do rico1 rico1 and SDE1 and then RICO2 and SDF1 and RICO3 and SDG1 right so if you 
we i have six disk and i created six disk so six asm disk so dev sdb1 data1 sdc1 data2 sdd1 data3 this data1 data2 data3 all the three disk together i'll create a data disk group and sde1 i made rico1 sdf1 i made rico02 sdg1 i made rico03 so this rico uh, one rico two rico three all these three rico disk i'm going to create as a rico disk group so that is the concept i did here so if we do oracle asm list disks you can see data one data two data three rico one rico two rico three so you similarly if you go to node two and if you do oracle asm list disks it will not show anything here because you need to scan it before you uh, do anything list disks so nothing is showing here oracle asm scan disks if you see here data 1 data 2 rico 1 rico 2 rico 3 all are scanned now if you, now you do oracle asm list disk automatically all the disk will reflected on node 2 because the the base disks are stay, shared between this node 1 and node 2 so we are done with uh, uh, creating a um, Oracle uh, grid disks and now we will do uh, uh, this cluster RPM cluster RPM will I'll, I'll take it when we are installing the cluster where so uh, just I wanted to quickly explain about what I did so far okay so uh, if you see this diagram here I precisely drawn because of ease of understanding so i have a node 1 and node 2 these are my two server i am going to install here asm1 and here asm2 so these two asm instance you know to create and uh, to set up a grid infrastructure installation these two asm need some uh, disks where uh, it can be able to understand it can able to read those disk and whatever data inside that disk so whatever disk we added here 20 gb sdb 20 gb sdc 20 gb sdd and 10 gb sde and 10 gb sdf and 10 gb sdg these are the os raw disk so my asm or clusterware will not be able to read this disk and will not be able to understand what is the content of this disk so for that what we did we used os utility called f disk and we found Formatted this raw disk SDB1 as a SDB1 and SDC become SDC1 and SDD we formatted as a SDD1 and SDE we formatted as a SDE1 SDF we formatted as a SDF1 and STG we formatted as a SDG1 and these formatted disk also ASM cannot be able to read or cannot be able to understand because these are the OS understandable disk OS can read it but my ASM or clusterware will not read it so using Oracle ASM utility Oracle ASM libraries I, I created a disk called data1 on top of this SDB1 and I created data2 on top of SDC1 and I created data3 on top of SDD1 and I created a Rico disk on top of SDE1 and I created Rico2 on top of SDF1 I created a Rico3 on top of SDG1 so that this data1 data2 data3 and Rico1 Rico2 Rico3 can be read by my ASM or clusterware can able to understand these disks rather than this OS disks and at the back end it is going to read my OS disk but using this ASM library utility so ASM can only read this disk and able to understand what is the data what is the content of these disks so on top of these three disks I am going to create a data disk group and on top of these three disks I am going to create a record disk group and this data and record I am going to mount it on ASM1 and ASM2 and then you know I can create n number of database on this data disk and record disk group uh, if you see here the the way how I created Oracle ASM create disk I gave my data one for ASM to understand on top of dev sdb1 as this uh, uh, screen represents sdb1 created uh, data one and sdc1 created data two sdd1 created data three and SDE1, RICO1, RICO2, RICO3 
LR you can see here on my uh, Linux OS and you know installing the disk and writing the disk header so you know my uh, ASM disks are created here so these disks ASM can read right so now I am done with uh, this ASM configuration so now uh, we will do a uh, run cluffy pre-checks and okay so we will do this run cluffy pre-check and grid infrastructure installation in my uh, next session guys uh, thank you